So my very good friend Elliot from Star Wars Battlefront Updates put out a 10-year retrospective, his time on YouTube. And yeah, it's hard to believe the new version of Star Wars Battlefront and thus Elliot's channel has been around in some form from the initial announcement for over 10 years now. I'm going to link to the video. I'm not going to lie, it made me kind of emotional, not because it made me think of a really fun era of Star Wars gaming, but personally because I was also there for a lot of it. I started my YouTube channel before Star Wars Battlefront 2 and one of the first big things I did as a YouTuber was go to a Battlefront 2 preview event where I met a lot of people who are still my friends. I would meet Elliot later. He's European so he had a different event but it's just kind of funny what they say about the good old days. You know people think of the good old days of Star Wars gaming being this or maybe this but you know what we had something special with Star Wars Battlefront 2. I'm thinking about the Geonosis update especially where they just added so much to the game despite Despite being confined by some limits of what was actually there. That was, in my opinion, the big thing holding Battlefront 2 back. Well, for one, PR issues at launch really killed it, but I think the game structurally also had some flaws that I know they would have fixed come Battlefront 3. I really hope we get that Battlefront 3 at some point, but I don't know. I'm just very nostalgic for that era, and ditto with Star Wars Squadrons even. The first full gameplay trailer released three years ago today. It's just kind of funny. Anyway, I'm going to link to Elliot's video. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm going to recommend you watch it, especially if you've got some time to kill because it's just so enjoyable, especially if you are big into Star Wars gaming or the YouTube scene over the past five to 10 years.